what we have here is pretty much uh, generic five ton log split. And it does a pretty good job of splitting logs, as you will see. Here is an attachment for log splitter. Uh, this is for turning a log splitter into a can bale. And it requires no modification at all to the log splitter. We only remove the two supports for the logs with these four hex bolts. And then this base will bolt on, which I will now demonstrate. So now here we have uh, the base plate. And all we did was remove the wings for the logs and use a little bit longer uh, bolt to hold it in place. It's important to note that since this is putting out five tons, 10,000 pounds of force, that all the force is being taken on this back plate here. I'll try to get a better shot with the camera. This is set up to take the brunt of the force of uh, crushing the can and turning them into a 10 inch uh, square cube. Uh, you don't want to put too much force on the mounting bolts, but they're, you know, it's not necessary to, so they are, they are actually more of an oval, so that if your forces aren't quite right, you can put any pressure in any way damage to the uh, log split. And so next we're gonna install the ram onto the uh, ram of the split. Now here I have the ram installed. I originally started out a flat plate against a flat plate, but since you're doing multiple passes, uh, cubing the cans, it tends to come out like sliced bread and requires bailing wire. And I thought, for something this small, that's an unnecessary step. So I came up with a rather unique uh, idea that works beautifully. I made this to bolt to the rim. And now it adds an extra dimension and sticks the cans together so you can simply pick it up and sit it in a container, and after you get maybe a dozen or two, you can take it to the recycle. So now we have the ram attached with the uh, special head, and you can see how it works. Now the only thing to add at this point is the main body and of course the hopper. The hopper I made detachable to save weight and also it allows me to show you the inner workings uh, without using it. Now we have the main body up, and the trick of using the log splitter is we need to be able to extract the cube. And so the way we'll do that is we will loosen these clamps that we have here, all four of them, after we have finished crushing, and we will pull it back. And we will take a pin put it right here and this will hold it and then we'll simply turn it back on again and we'll extract the cube. Uh, when I first started this project and I thought about like a 10 by 10 cube I thought, well, maybe what would that be, 7,500 cans. It turns out it takes 250 cans to make a cube like that. So we've been having to scrounge cans from pretty much everybody. 
Uh, we're going to put 25 cans per five gallon bucket and we're going to get started. Okay, we are now ready to start crushing cans. We have our pin in the back with the crusher moved forward. Cutting them in half. Yep. No problem with that whatsoever. One more. about 10 more cans. Go grab them real quick. Uh, 250 cans. So I loosen these pins here. And let the pressure. It builds up a lot of pressure, you understand? Doing that crush. Pin out here. What I do is come back on, drive it forward, 
take this pin right, 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 right in this hole here. Just like this. And slide it back. Like that. And sometimes it has to be slid this slot bit back. Let me pull this pin out, of course. There it is. And now we are ready for extraction. Uh, 266 pins. 